So what's up? This is the Saturday before the Grands up in Newcastle. I came down to Ocala to uh, load up our trailer. Uh, Chad is going to be towing this behemoth up Wednesday. So the rest of us are driving up Thursday. We'll get there Thursday evening. Seven-ish, maybe a little bit later. And this is it. All loaded up and ready to go. Uh, we have a couple drivers with Heath running CIK Masters, CIK Heavy, Gabe, CIK Heavy, Chad Dawkins, CIK Heavy, uh, and then myself, CIK Medium, CIK Heavy. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hope for the best. I'm going to be expecting top 15 for both, I'll be happy. A really good group of guys driving up there, so we'll give it our best. Uh, see what TB car can do. <laughs> Good morning. So we're on our way to Newcastle. We just got uh, picked up. Uh, Gabe left at three in the morning in the from morning. Orlando. He picked. Well, they met at Heat's house at five. 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 Yeah. And then I just got off of work. And they just picked me up, and then uh, we are taking Heat's uh, SUV. Super ride. And it's Gabe. Yeah, yeah, his wife. And Gabe was verifying if we were allowed to eat or drink on the way up in the vehicle. Just in case, you know. Just, you never know. Yeah, you never we know. just you never know. Be respectful. Yeah, it's a, a extremely nice. So, uh, uh, Gabe was like, is it okay if I get something to drink? <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, We've been on this trip for 20 minutes and you're giving me shit oh, already. Oh, man, it's going to be a long 12-hour ride. Oh. We're not going to make it before the track closes. So, Chad might be a little upset, but, you know. Whatever. Sorry, Uncle. Sorry. <laughs> we tried our best. We'll get everything ready by Friday. Yeah, we're in Friday, Kentucky. No, because we're going to go through Tennessee first. Right, Tennessee. We're up in the mountains. We don't know where the heck we're at. He pulled off to stop for fuel. He was telling me there's a whole bunch of restaurants here. We're looking around, there's nothing. <laughs> it must be on the other side of the road, he says. And he's using Google. Gabe hasn't got off the phone the whole time. You've this been sleeping trip. the whole time. He's a hateful guy. I hear it in the background. Yeah. Oh man! They got jokes. Uh, we drive. Oh, here's the <laughs> thing. Turn left. Then turn left on Winfield down All Parkway. you do. Since 7 o'clock this morning. And this is what I've been putting up with. We're in Tennessee, I hope. Oh, we are! Are we? Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. tourist attraction. You guys probably can't see that. just got there. Morning guys, this is day two. Uh, day one was hectic. Recap, we've been working on multiple carts. Uh, trying to find the setup. And we've gotten a lot closer. Uh, hopefully we're somewhat close today and competitive. Because yesterday I was not. Uh, I'm running CIK heavy and medium using two different carts. And I haven't even touched the CIK medium. I'm about to take it out on my first practice, which sets us up for qualifying order. So uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will send it because uh, that's all we can do right now. Uh, all I did was still the same setup on the heavy cart to medium cart, but there are some differences between the chassis. So we'll see how it goes. Chad's quick, as always. Gaby's doing pretty well. Been working on his cart. Heath is running CIK Masters and. Uh, Heavy. Right now he's out there for Masters. Uh, well, this is racing. This is why we do it. Goal today is to have fun. Take it easy. Hope all goes well. So here we go for the qualifier. 
Uh, we're flying lap. So turn one, you're flat out. Uh, turn two's flat out as well. And three and four. This is pretty much a flat out section. That's Chad up ahead of me. Uh, this lap, I just basically overdrove the cart. There's nothing else to it. Um, just didn't get a good clean lap. Uh, here, I didn't. I started using the brakes or, uh, later on in the run. But here, I was just basically not, not lifting. Uh, just a slight lift back on the gas. But um, I should have stopped trying to overdrive it so much because it just killed the exit speed. Um, I later on found out that slower was faster here. Uh, it's a nice, fun layout. Uh, it's just a lot. You need to have a very clean lap. It's a long lap, too. So here we are just trying to keep our momentum up. Chad's out there just pulling away slowly. Uh, here, this bowl, I was not taking it that well. At first, I was missing the apex, but later on, I got it down. This qualifying lap wasn't as bad as I thought, but I could have done better. Uh, it put me in 12th, which wasn't too bad. Uh, after practice, I was not doing well. So 12th place. All right, he raced one. Here we go. My whole goal here was do not wreck. That was a, a pretty simple goal I had. Just stay clean. So my starts got better throughout the day. Uh, but I was just very cautious of the drivers around me. Uh, hoping nobody would take anybody out. And uh, just followed them through. Just stay in the line and try to find a drafting partner. Uh, Chad was in front of me, so my whole goal was just to catch up to him. Going here to turn five. Uh, I, get, I, I really get a good run up here on the inside, so I just sent it in. Uh, and just try to catch up to Chad, because here's a drafting track. The truth is you need to find yourself a drafting partner you need to find yourself a teammate hook up and go uh, the draft is everything if you stay in no man's land it's called no man's land for a reason after i run here i find chad's bumper and give him a good shot forward and I thought I could catch up and stay up behind him, but it was just not going to happen today. Just not enough speed to keep up with that 86 at the moment. So you see here, the group in front starts jostling for position. And once you start doing that, I was able to bring it back in. Here, Chad gets chopped down and gets hopped the curb, goes the chain, so goes my drafting partner, which I couldn't catch up anyway, so I wasn't much of a partner. Uh, and then if you get side by side racing, it just clumps everybody back up together. Uh, I have someone on the inside here. He gave me plenty of space on the outside. Uh, we did a pretty good run side by side, but I had a better run that set me up for the inside turn here.
gap. I was able to close the gap a little bit. His car was hopping in there. Just to stay clean. That's all we had to do. Uh, here I decided to go on the outside, which I never do. Uh, but I had such a good run, I decided to go for it. Uh, here was one of my favorite passing zones. Was to be able to send it up on the inside. Here you could carry a lot of speed down. And I was much quicker than most of the people around me in the center section. It was coming out of the front stretch I was not doing too well. Uh, the six is behind me at the moment. Uh, I go here, flat out, try to keep as much momentum forward, but it was not going to be enough to keep him behind me. Uh, I even threw a, <laughs> I even threw a block. I was like, nope. And he's like, yeah, I'm here already. And I was like, crap. So he goes in, plenty of space, and I'm just trying to set him up uh, for an area I thought was the best passing area for me. Um, just trying to set him up. It was like a high-speed chess match. His cart was starting to hop, so I think he was starting to tighten up. So I knew my time would come, but here, he would just carry so much more speed coming out of the turns for some reason. It's his rolling speed was better than mine. I just got to do a slight bobble coming up in this next turn, and I get a good run coming out of it. Uh, I'm not sure how he didn't see me because I was halfway up his cart, but he turns down into me, and my biggest issue was not to hop the curb to throw the chain so I follow him around and I just thought it was better to just try to drag Grayson back down the line and uh, come home in ninth. Uh, overall good run, uh, safe run and uh, accomplish my goal of top 10. Here we go the start of heat two. Uh, this run at the very beginning of the race we did a couple laps and a red flag came out and then we restarted the order I think uh, how we started before. And the inside line gets a really good run here. So I was extremely happy to be on the inside this time. Uh, and I was following the 53 around. I was like, come on, man, move some people out of the way. But my whole goal was, to, again, get to the top couple corners clean and later on start jostling for position. He was just all about staying clean. Everybody was uh, being uh, aggressive at the beginning. So if you were able to stay clean and stay out of the trouble, then you you had a good opportunity to uh, maybe catch up to someone, work with someone, and then move on forward. So I'm guessing how my gearing was set up. Uh, I was able to get a really good run to a downhill left-hander before going to a right-hander. So I saw the opportunity. I took it. And luckily, I was able to stay off the 07 MGM. And once I got behind him, my whole goal was get to his bumper and work. That was just my number one goal from there on out. So here I'm able to work with the 07 for a little bit and someone decided to try to catch a ride and we got lucky with the position. And here I'm just still sticking with the 07, uh, the MGM driver. He was real fast. Uh, he was able to push the guy in front away here in a second from me. Uh, I had to do some, some defensive driving, uh, but I didn't want to try to scrub up too much speed. That was the whole goal was basically uh, keep the people behind me. Uh, maybe they would settle down and start trying to push and work together, but uh, that did not happen. And then uh, coming out to the front straight away, I was just not quick enough. Uh, plus the gearing here, they would pull away, and I know I was two to two more because my acceleration was much better, but my top end was just not there. For some reason, I could just not get up to speed all weekend. Uh, it was frustrating, but uh, the cart handled like a dream. I was able to drive quick enough to make up for the lack of uh, top end power for some reason. Here I decided to send, to send it up to 53. Um, I just wanted to stay as close as I could to 7. Uh, I moved up to 5th uh, and then it just starts going south pretty quick. Uh, I should have known payback was going to come. I'm on the brakes hard and I just get... <laughs> He returns the favor by just using me as the brake. Um, it's all good in the end. Uh, I knew I was overly aggressive. Uh, from this point on, the two Margays got away from me. And I did a couple 
slight bobbles. Here I did not take the turn well. And if you mess up that turn, you don't get a good run to the front stretch, which I was already having issues with. And I had that bad feeling that I was about to get freight train right, right before turn one. And sure enough, here they came. Uh, from here on out, it was just, whew, I was like, man, when is this race going to end? Because they just kept passing me and passing me. And I was like, ouch, this is not going well. Um, it was basically trying to manage the rest of the race the best I could. Basically, for the rest of the race, I just sat here. Uh, I didn't move forward. I didn't move back. Uh, I was able to salvage a 12th place finish. So, heat 1, 9th, heat 2, 12th. Not looking too bad. Um, just trying to stay clean and hoping to do something in heat race 3. So, heat 3, here we go. Uh, I missed the morning warm up to do uh, a whole bunch of changes to a cart to try to get it to roll better on that final sector coming on the front straightaway. I really struggled with that all weekend and carrying the speed the first half of the track. Uh, second half of the track, the cart was really well, but we needed to work on the first half. So, I got a good start, a clean start. We got away all together well, uh, not too much. Uh, bumping and grinding uh, Right off the bat I felt the car way better So I was really excited about how this run would be I thought I'd just buy my time um, And then uh, start moving forward Around the halfway mark So we got to the first lap playing clean and we just started riding around. I felt comfortable in the car. I felt comfortable staying behind the 27. Uh, I thought we just might line up and push, but someone behind me thought it would be uh, better just to move me out of the way. I don't know if he looked down. I don't know what he was thinking, but I know he didn't want me in front of him anymore. Uh, by this point of the race, we we're about the halfway mark. Um, I've been pushed off the track multiple times, so I've fallen back. And then I felt someone beating on my back door pretty good, uh, just knocking me all around. And uh, I call him Kamikaze after this. Uh, he just, I don't know what he was thinking. He just sent it into his mini bowl out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know what he thought. He didn't even turn right, he just decided to turn left and drive me right through the grass. Uh, coming down the front stretch, uh, I thought he had lost plenty of speed. He wasn't even close. I let these two go. I went to turn in and he said, screw it, I'm just gonna send it. Recap so far. Uh, we didn't go out for warm up. It was just a little damp because it rained the night before. As you can see now, it's raining like crazy. Uh, I didn't bring a set of rain tires, so I'm trying to hunt down a set of rain tires. I was run over in the CIK heavy class, uh, but I'm still starting 14 for the finals. Uh, track's wet. I don't know how quickly it dries out. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Hope for the best, right? That's all we can do. I've uh, been running quick all week, and top 10 all week. So we'll, 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 we'll hope for the best. That's how it's gonna go, hope for the best. So here we go on to the finals. Um, after all three heat races, we didn't get a bad starting spot. Start 14th, and we actually get 
a pretty good start. Uh, we were the first carts on track on slicks after rain. Um, I think Chad, Gabe, Heath, they all sat this one out to try to throw my cart together. We were on a rain setup, went to somewhat dry setup. Um, there's some joshing position. I gave plenty of room for the cart on the inside. And that individual came in like a wrecking ball. And um, I don't know, forgot that the, it was a left-hand turn or something, to tell you the truth. Or don't know what that person was thinking at that time. Uh, here, just fought myself back. It was just not a good final, not a good Sunday for me. Uh, for CIK Medium, I went out and I didn't get to drive the car until first practice Saturday. Uh, did not do well. It was 63rd after first warm up. I qualified better up to 47th, but once we got the setup down, we were running a uh, top 30. So the speed was there. I just got caught in the mid pack, and the top guys were just way too quick. Um, I found out that I should just focus on one class instead of two different classes. If I ever do two different classes again, it has to be the same exact go-kart. Uh, overall, I have to thank TB Kart USA. I have to thank uh, everyone that supported us through this. Uh, please let me know how you like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, here, during through all the changes, we left the motor mount loose and I popped the chain. And that's all she wrote for that weekend. I had a blast. I'll definitely be back next year. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like. Hope you guys subscribe. And please share. Take it easy, guys.